Okay, <clears throat> so this is the, gonna be the first um, explanation of the new module that we're going to be, or not the new module, but a continuation. Well, yeah, I should say it's, it's the, the second module. Um, the continuation or beginning, I should say, of the uh, pen tool uh, explanation. Um, I did had recorded a video uh, the first week, uh, just briefly going over the pen tool um, and how it works. Um, but today in these couple uh, videos, um, I'm going to be giving you a little bit more instruction on the pen tool. Um, I'm gonna go over the first two um, assignments uh that you need to work on this uh coming week next week um <clears throat> if you feel comfortable enough moving on to the rest of the assignments in this uh pen tool assignment you are more than welcome to do that but i'm going to be recording um smaller lectures on each of the sections or um, files that you're going to be working on um, <clears throat> for this pen tool assignment. Okay, so I am here in Canvas. Um, I am at the home page. Um, you, you may have noticed that I have included the recent announcements here at the top. Um, so anything that I'm posting that everybody needs to know is going to appear here at the top. Um, and then if you scroll down a little bit farther, um, we did have the color wheel. Um, some of you have completed it. Um, uh, those of you that have not been able to complete it yet, um, you know, you still have time. There is no exact due date <clears throat> for this, the, for the color wheel. Um, it was just an introductory assignment. It will be there available for you to complete at any time um, uh, at your leisure. Um, but moving forward, the pen tool assignments will need to be done uh, within a week uh, time. Uh, that's plenty of time for you to work on them. You can uh, practice a couple different times before you submit the actual assignments um, to Canvas. Um, but I would you know, prefer that you do submit them within a week's time. Um, but again, the, the assignments will stay open as well I'm not going to close any of them. I just uh, need everybody to, you know, be diligent and working on the assignments. Um, and hopefully with these videos that I'm posting, uh, you will, uh, I hope, you know, have all your questions answered. But if there is something that I need to go over again, um, I, you know, there's, I can, you know, do another video explaining things a little bit more um, on some of the different aspects of the pen tool. Okay, again, so <clears throat> we have the new module posted here. Uh, Illustrator, it does say module two, but it's the Illustrator pen tool. And if you click on that, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I had posted the videos for you to watch. Um, that was uh, help files from the Adobe site excuse me, and then some addition, additional videos that I had found on um, YouTube that go over how to use the pen tool a little bit more in depth, um, maybe than what I may be going over here in this video, um, but they're good reference material um, if, you know, take the time to watch them uh, when you do, when you can, okay? So those are the pen tool videos that I had posted. Uh, earlier this week. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click the next button. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is the pen tool assignment, uh, first pen tool assignment. Now you'll see that there is a chart of different um, files for you to download. I am going to be going over the dot to dot and the monster uh, donut in this first video today. Um, the dot to dot is basically like, you know, the dot to dot that you find in coloring books when you were a kid, where you pencil and went from one 
to the next number and around. Um, but with this assignment, you're going to be using the pen tool to complete this assignment. And just think of the pen tool as your pencil that you were using as a kid, okay? Um, and then this next one is the monster uh, and the car trailer. And again, these are just uh, simple uh, little uh, lines that you're gonna be tracing with the pen tool. Um, and then up here a little bit farther, <clears throat> um, I have a chapter from a book that um, hopefully it will appear. Yeah. Um, it's a PDF that you can download for more reference material. Um, it explains, it's taking a few seconds for it to load on my computer, but it's a PDF that um, goes over the pen tool, um, gives a little bit more explanation. If you're more of a, um, a learner reading stuff, this will help you. And again, I apologize that it's taking a few seconds to load on my computer, um, but it should load on yours, your computer much quicker. Um, <clears throat> but again, it's just a PDF for you to, for you to view. You can uh, click on this link working with the pen tool and it will open it up in the window here, or you can click on the little arrow and it will um, <clears throat> download it to your computer like all of the other uh, files that you're gonna be working with. And there's also some practice files that you can download if you choose. Um, again, it's not required, it's just extra reference material. I try to provide as much extra reference material as possible for you to, um, to use. Um, just to get another perspective from, from other, um, other sources uh, besides what I may be giving you as information, okay? <clears throat> um, so again, this uh, video right now that I'm going to be doing or continuing right now, sorry, <laughs> um, is going to be working on the dot to dot here, the fire truck and the ladybug. And then I'm gonna move to the monster and then the car trailer. And then that will conclude this lecture for uh, today. Um, I will be, uh, we'll next, we'll move into the pen tool and the C shapes and animal shapes and basic shapes um, next week. Um, but I will have those videos uh, recorded over the weekend and get them posted a little bit sooner um, for your, for you to view um, at your leisure, okay? So I am going to go ahead and download the fire truck and the ladybug, the monster, and the car trailer to my computer. Um, you are going to download uh, those files to your computer. Um, so let me go ahead and download them. So I'm going to download them to my desktop. Um, you can download them to your downloads folder, documents folder, just make sure that you know where you're downloading um, these files to, okay? So I'm downloading the fire truck. I'm gonna download the ladybug. And then I'm gonna download the monster. And again, at any point, if you have any issues downloading any of these files, please let me know. Um, it may be just a connection issue uh, when I transferred the uh, assignments from last semester to this semester. Um, but if you have any issues downloading anything, please let me know and I will see what I can do to get it uh, fixed, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and move over to uh, Illustrator. <clears throat> okay, so uh, again, when you first start Illustrator, this is the screen that you will see. Um, it will give you the recent files that you've opened. These are just recent files that I've opened on my computer. 
uh, it gives you the um, common sizes that are used for uh, you know different uh, projects. Um, you have the create new button. So if you're creating a new document, you click on that. Um, and a couple other assignments here in Illustrator, I, you know, I'll go over creating a new document uh, in more depth because we're going to create um, some other files, new files. <clears throat> and then you have the open button. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the open button. And I'm going to go to my uh, desktop. And I should have made a folder on my desktop, but I'm going to go ahead and find the um, fire truck first. And I'm going to go ahead and click open. And this is what you're going to see when you open up the fire truck um, file. Again, I mentioned it was just like a dot to dot file. <clears throat> or you know something that you would find in your um, your a coloring book as a kid you know a simple dot to dot so you have uh, starts with number one and then goes back around to uh, number thirty four at the end <clears throat> so what you're going to do with this uh, simple dot to dot is you're going to take the pen tool and you're just going to click around starting at one and then end back up at number 34. Um, a couple things first, when you first start drawing or uh, using the pen tool, um, <clears throat> it you can see here in the, the toolbox over here on the left-hand side, um, the default setting for fill and stroke is a white fill and a black stroke. So just keep that in mind right now. Um, that is your default um, settings for the fill and the stroke. Um, so let me just show you if I, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So the, the keyboard shortcut for uh, zooming in and zooming out, uh, command plus, command or control, oops. command or control, plus will zoom you in, command or control uh, minus will zoom you back out. And that helps you, uh, you know, increase the magnification of your document so that you can um, get in a little bit closer and look at um, what you're drawing or, you know, sections of your, your document, okay? Um, <clears throat> So again, keep that in mind what I said about the fill and stroke. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my pen tool here. Um, it's the third tool in your toolbox. <clears throat> and I'm going to come over here to number one and I'm gonna click my mouse. So I've added an anchor point and there is this rubber band that um, extends from that anchor point. Now, whatever direction you, you pull it is the direction in which your line is going to be created. <clears throat> so in this case, I wanna come over here to number two. So see the rubber band, I've got bouncing, not bouncing, but I have a rubber band type line extended from that anchor point. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on where it says number two, and now I have created a line. Uh, you can see that the line is, uh, you have a red, a red line and then that black line. That black line is the actual stroke that makes up the line from the pen tool. Um, but uh, you also have the red line, which is your guideline, letting you know where the lines are um, as well on your, on your page, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. So I'm just going to continue going around to the numbers and I'm just clicking my mouse and putting down 
a line. So as you can see, as I'm continuing to draw, remember what I first said that the default fill and stroke is white, a white fill and a black stroke. Well, as I'm continuing to draw around this, you see that the um, fire truck is starting to disappear. Again, that is because there is a white fill and a black stroke. So um, usually when I'm working on something before I know that what colors I may wanna use for something, I will go in and turn off the fill and just draw with a, with a, um, with a black line until I'm ready to fill anything in with color. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I can, there's two things I can do. I can, um, do command or control Z and that's going to undo what I've done, undo the, the, the lines that I've been drawing or the anchor points that I've been putting down. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and move back to now you see no, no lines, no strokes, nothing on my, on my, on my document. <clears throat> so again, I mentioned, I said, I will go in and turn off the fill first and then start drawing my lines, okay? So I'm gonna come over here to my properties panel and I'm gonna come down here where the appearance is and I'm gonna click on that white box. And um, because the way this particular file is set up, there's no swatches here other than the red line. And this red line in any box like this is the universal symbol for none or turn off this fill or turn off the stroke. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and click that red line. And you'll notice over here in my tool panel, I now have that same red line here, that universal line or universal symbol <clears throat> telling me that there is no fill or no color in this particular um, box but the box behind it, you can see still has the black stroke, which is fine. We want that um, <clears throat> while we're drawing with this. Um, sorry, it's not going away. Okay, there. <clears throat> so I just clicked away just to get that, that um, fill box to go away. Okay, so I'm looking at both my appearance here and my um, tool panel over here, and I see that there is that red line um, in both sections. So now, let me bring this down here. <clears throat> so now if I go back with my pen tool and I start clicking again, just adding my anchor points, one, two, three, four, and continue around. And I'm just clicking my mouse, adding the anchor points, back over here 12 you can see that the tire is not being hidden by a fill okay so i'm just going to continue around here to all of these points eight 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. And then I'm gonna come back to number one. Number one and 34 are the same anchor points, okay? And it's kind of hard to see, but there is a tiny circle behind um, the pen tool. So the pen tool has little hints that will tell you when you're gonna close the path, when you're gonna add an anchor point, when you're going to delete an anchor point, 
um, and when you're going to start a line. So there's little little um, hints behind the pen tool. So in this case, because I came back over to number one, which is also number 34 at the same time, I have a little dot or a little circle behind the pen tool. That's telling me that I am going to make a complete path. Um, in this case, we want a complete path because we want to, you know, make the fire truck a complete line. Uh, there are other times where you may just want a straight line, uh, a curved line, um, but you don't want it to be necessarily a closed path, which is, you know, fine. There are certain times that that's that is required for what you're drawing. But in this case, we want to close the path. Um, so you always go back to that first anchor point that you put down and look for that little circle behind your pen tool. And once you have that little circle, go ahead and click. And now you have a closed path. So I'm going to go ahead and um, zoom out. So Command or Control minus on your keyboard <clears throat> and then um, you can use the scroll bars here at the bottom ah. to move the document around the scroll bars on the left and the right. Um, I apologize. I My little uh, captioning at the bottom is uh, hiding my scroll bar. So um, you can um, another one, another keyboard shortcut is, uh, or not a keyboard shortcut, but um, uh, uh, lost my train of thought there for a second. My, another uh, keyboard shortcut, yeah, I guess it's a shortcut, is if you hold down your your space bar, you can uh, it'll bring up the hand for you to move the document around um, instead of using the scroll bars. So right now I just have the the um, I'm holding down the, the space bar with my hand with a finger and I'm using my um, trackpad on my laptop to move the document around. Um, but again, you can use the scroll bars on the left, or I mean on the right and on the bottom. Um, I can't at this point because I have the uh, closed captioning um, box at the bottom and it's not allowing me to do that. <clears throat> But again, you can hold down the space bar when you're in the pen tool and it will allow you to um, move the document around as well. Okay, so that's what I'm doing at this point uh, is moving the document around that, that, like that. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out just a little bit more so you can see that the completed line, um, I started at one and went around to 34. Um, you can, you know, it may take you a few tries to get used to the pen tool. Um, you practice as many times as you want. You can, you know, close the file and open it up again. You don't have to save it, close it, open it up again and restart it. Um, just remember that when you draw with the pen tool for the first time um, on each of these files, that the default will be a white fill and a black stroke. And you'll want to go and turn it off, turn off the fill, excuse me, here in your, um, in your appearance, uh, under the properties panel, the appearance section, make sure that you click on the um, red line. Again, that's the universal sign for none. Um, in all most programs, you will see that that line. Okay. Um, so this is how you do the fire truck and the ladybug. The ladybug is the exact same thing, um, except it's here. Let me go ahead and open that. <clears throat> um, the ladybug is the same thing. Um, it's you know less dots to fill in, but the concept is the same thing. You take your pen tool, change your fill here to none. 
uh, and then take your pen tool and then start clicking and adding your anchor points around, around and around and around until you get back to one. And then you'll have your line for the, um, the, um, the ladybug. Um, let me go back over here to the fire truck. Um, <clears throat> I uh, would like for you to save your files um, with your last name. So do that again. So file save as, and then you're just going to put your last name in front of the file. Um, uh, so that when you submit it to Canvas, that you um, that I know it's yours. Um, obviously, it's going. I know it's going to be yours, but that way, when I download the files to Grade, that I have um, your last name on the file, and I don't get it confused with anybody else's file. Okay, so file save as. Add your last name to the front of the file name and then click save. Uh, again, this dialog box here that comes up, the illustrator options, um, you don't need to worry about any of those. It's just uh, letting you know if you wanna save it for a different version of illustrator, um, but all these settings here, you just go ahead and click okay. Um, and then it saves it to wherever you're saving it to. And then I'm gonna switch back over to Canvas um, and then change this to student view. <clears throat> and you have this button here that says start assignment. So when you have completed the first, uh, when you've completed the fire truck and the ladybug, you can go ahead and um, submit it to Canvas. There is, uh, each assignment is set to multiple uploads. Um, so you can uh, submit all of these different separate um, files as, your, um, as you complete them, you can go ahead and submit them. Um, and it will, like I said, allow you to do multiple uploads. Uh, for each assignment. <clears throat> um, and that's if you go back and you decide that you want to change something, redo something. Um, I, it, I have it set so you can do multiple uploads. Okay. So uh, when you're ready to submit any one of these assignments, go ahead and click start assignment. Um, it will <clears throat> scroll down to the file upload option. Um, you're going to click on upload file. You're going to choose your file. Um, so in this case, I saved the fire truck with my last name. So that's the one that I'm going to select. I'm going to click open. Um, it's going to let me know here that that file has been chosen. And you can add uh, another file if you want. So if you want to upload, uh, when you get done with the fire truck and the ladybug, if you are ready to submit both of those files, um, you can um, submit both of those files at the same time, or you can, you know, go back and forth and submit one at a time. However, you are are more comfortable with. Okay, and then once you um, are satisfied with the files that you wanna upload at that particular point, you're gonna go ahead and click submit assignment um, and it will upload it to Canvas. And then once it has, I'm not gonna click on it because I'll have to reset, um, reset it to, for each um, part of this. Um, <clears throat> but once you hit submit assignment, you will get a little confetti come down from the on the screen, letting you know that you have submitted the assignment. 
And then it will also change up here. You'll get a little note saying um, submission, um, submission details. Uh, you, you have submitted assignment and then it'll give the file name of what you have submitted. Um, and um, you know, the time and the time and date that you submitted it. Okay. And then that will change each time you submit another, another assignment. Okay. So let me go ahead and leave this section. Okay. So just a, a brief recap on this video. Um, you will need to go to the modules here in uh, Canvas. Go ahead and collapse these here just so on my end. Okay, so um, on the modules, you will see week two to four, the pen tool. Um, you should have at some point already watched the videos. Um, that I have posted there. Um, if you haven't watched them yet, please go ahead and do so. Um, the next assignment is the pen tool assignments here, which I just went over. Um, and again, some uh, uh, information about the pen tool, a file for you to download uh, and review. Uh, it's just some additional information about the pen tool. There are some practice files that are associated with um, that PDF that you can download if you wish to get some more practice. Um, and then for this first video, you will need to download the two dot to dot files. And you will need to complete those in Illustrator using the pen tool. Um, and then just review this video. Uh, and then if you have any questions regarding those first two files, uh, please don't hesitate to email me and I will get back to you um, as soon as possible. Okay. So again, the first, this first video is the conclusion. I mean, this concludes the first video for the uh, fire truck and the ladybug dot to dot. And I will now, uh, I will have another video for the monster and the car trailer uh, posted in a little bit as well. Again, any questions, don't hesitate to ask, email me either through Canvas or through the ABC uh, Gmail, okay? Okay, so I will again, like I said, have another video posted uh, shortly with the explanation of the monster and the car trailer. Okay, thank you.